Good morning, everybody, um, and welcome to another stream. Um, thank you for popping in. Uh, those of you that have made it, I do appreciate it. Um, so today it went out to the car boots um, and we found some really good stuff. We didn't go out with a lot of money. We went out with a budget. Um, we actually took like 50 quid with us, which isn't a lot. Normally we take probably about, I don't know, three, four times that. Um, but we just took 50 quid because we've got limited amount of space to be buying stock for the general store and this is pretty much for the general store and we actually came away with having only spent I think it, in the end it was like 42 quid something along those lines and it was one of those days where I could have comfortably have bought and spent a lot more so it was um, it was quite cool the stuff that I did manage to pick up for the money that was spent so um, just wanted to share with you guys obviously some of the items that we picked up um, and like what we expect to make Beck is not joining me today because she's actually gone for a little nap I think she's gonna be getting up soon um, but she came back she was knackered went for a nap so it's just you're stuck with me uh, for this haul um, unless she wakes up and decides to join in but I doubt it um, I'll say a few quick highs Peter Ray Lucy thank you for popping in uh, Nadine um, Esley Dave reselling Polly bad biscuit Lex thank you Darren um, smart reselling Janet Plant, Maria Clark, Money Mental, which is Andrew, um, Pommy Pickers, um, Lincoln Seller, Shop Windows, um, and um, she's always flipping. Mandy's popped in as well. Hi there, Mandy. Um, thank you for popping in, guys. Do appreciate it. Um, oh, yes. Um, Money Mental says, I'm so rough, and I'm guessing that's to do with the meetup that he had um, with Stee and Co. I'm not sure who else went. Um, I, I'm not really aware of it obviously but um, I did see a video pop up on the timeline um, so hope you guys had a really fun evening I'm sure you did um, hey um, Alia that's Mukhtar thanks for popping in um, all right guys um, we'll get on with some fines um, it was like I said it was a pretty productive day um, I'll, I'll see if I can do it in order as it were um, and and we'll, we'll go from there um, now when you first get to a car boot some of you will know that there, there can be like a tendency to um, you know buy things just to get off the mark um, and I wouldn't say I did that exactly but the first item is okay not brilliant um, now first item is a vintage 35 mil film camera it looked clean um, looking through the viewfinder it looked decent um, it just looks in good condition overall um, you can just always when you're when you're at the car boot you can just always you know pop these open and it's actually got some grubby film in there Ugh, look at that yeah it's got some grubby film in there um, so yeah I mean <laughs> we'll see what the situation is with that but it looks like it's in good condition um, I paid two pounds fifty for the camera um, there's the lens and to be honest with you it's not the most amazing profit but I'll just share with you someone managed to get 24 pound 50 plus five pound shipping so not terrible um, you know pretty decent in that respect but I will obviously have to see what kind of testing I can do with it um, there's probably some kind of a light meter or something I have to look out for like a little flag or something that's gonna pop up so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research so you have to bear in mind the time um, it takes to do that um, I mean this one says uh, it's, do not expect okay he sells old cameras um, all being working condition unless stated um, this guy sold his it looks not in as good a condition as my one um, and he got 24.50 plus a fiver shipping so from two pounds fifty um, that is not a terrible purchase to kick off with um, opportunity to buy high-end audio this week says Dave spoke to Callum about it um, oh wow wow audio lab stuff is amazing Dave audio lab was the brand that came after tag McLaren if I'm right Dave tag McLaren um, is one of the most like um, vintage but like sought after hi-fi makes uh, for for quite a what you know for for years I mean people still love using their amplification their speakers and whatnot 
um, and their DVD players and CD players were like very highly sought after. I'm pretty sure Audio Lab spun off when Tag McLaren went bust. I'm not sure, um, but that's what I remember from my hi-fi days. Um, but there we go. Money Master says thank. I think I'm going to have to bow out of this one. No worries. Got because like, oh no worries, Money Master. Thanks for popping in. Tom the English picker has popped in. Hi Tom. Thanks for popping in. Um, Okay, I bought a what? What are you doing with that, Dave? Offline gaming? Uh, no, I'm not buying a PS4, Tom. No, I've not bought a PS4. I have no intentions of buying a PS4. So anyway, that was the first item. So uh, it, a Mamiya 135. There's the brand. Um, it's made in Japan. It's solid build quality, and for two pound fifty, I thought it was in good enough condition to take a punt on. And you know, I th I suppose overall, I'm glad that I did because they sell for like twenty um, twenty five plus shipping. So that's the first item that we picked up. Um, moving on, um, this one is okay. This one I bought half with my daughter in mind, so it depends whether she's going to want to keep it or not. Um, this is a Jack Skellington hoodie. Um, it's official Nightmare Before Christmas. It says it's a size large um, slash 14, um, and it's made in the UK. So I'm guessing it's got a little bit of age to it. I don't think many clothes are made in the UK now. So it's a plain black hoodie with Jack Skellington. Um, it's been worn, obviously, but paid two pounds for it. Um, having had a look online, I think these things are massively saturated. I mean, here's not the same one. This is a different one. This one looks a bit newer. It's got um, like some some other bits on it and it's a full zip hoodie this is like a pullover hoodie and that got 10 pound 50 plus four pound shipping at auction so I, it's probably not the best buy but for two quid I, I thought i'd take a punt because if worst comes to worst i think my daughter's probably gonna want this anyway um but yeah that wasn't that wasn't the next item um i picked up um let's pop back into the chat and have a look and see if there's any questions or anything um right uh, no boots for me until I clear at least one storage unit. It's killing me, says Tom. Oh, that is going to be difficult for you, definitely, with your hoarder tendencies. Blitz Simon says hi, and Shazad has popped in as well. Hi, Shazad. Thanks for popping in. Um, moving on, the next item um, is w one of my, like I, I suppose, better buys, but it's to be seen. Um, for £15, we bought a little stereo system. Um, let me just show you guys. It's it's an Iowa stereo system, and it's one of those little micro stack systems. You you plug it in, and this blue light will pop on. We paid fifteen pounds for it. Now we got it pretty cheap. It's got all the ribbon connectors and everything, but unfortunately, you can tell it's got some severe yellowing. So it's going to need some some looking after and I think it's because the gentleman that had this it was like a house clearance item but I'm pretty sure this is from a smoker's home so it's got that horrible yellow look to it which unfortunately will probably affect the value a bit um, but then again from the front it cleans up nicely it's just the top is a bit grum uh, uh, grimy um, but yeah it's just one of those annoying things so the reason why I bought it for £15, however, is because it was all complete um, and it's a, it's a five-piece system. So normally these come with cassette, but this one actually has a mini-disc recorder deck as well. Um, now, and then it's got, I'm just going to stack these on and hopefully I won't drop them. There's the CD player, so it's going to need a good clean this stuff, it's just grimy. Um, importantly, it came with the remote control. Um, and here is the cassette as well. So it's a five stack unit. Okay, there we go. Okay, five stack unit. Um, and the the speakers are here as well. The speakers are in good condition, from what I can tell. Um, I've not looked at them super close, but they're in, they they look like they are in good condition. Okay. Yeah, these are the speakers. With the grass still on them there you go um they look to be okay um so with the remote and imp when you buy um just a little tip for you guys if you're looking to buy um micro hi-fi systems you've got to be careful 
um, make sure all the connectors are there. So you can see that these use like proprietary ribbon connectors. Normally, if you see a separate hi-fi system, they will have um, red and white auxiliary, like uh, audio ins and outs, like RCA ins and outs, phonos as some people call them. Um, but most of these kinds of systems, so Technics do a similar system as well, they use proprietary ribbons. So you connect the ribbon from the tuner to this, to that, to the other. So for example, this one actually says here, to tuner. So you need to make sure the ribbon is there. In this case, the ribbon wouldn't get lost because it's actually soldered into the unit. Um, but on some systems, the ribbon's removable on both ends. So you've got to make sure all the bits and pieces are there. Now I paid fifteen pounds for that. Um, Antoinette Daly's popped in hi there, um, and Simon asked Z, "Did you get that from Billsborough?" Yes, I did. I did get it from Billsborough, and I think I'll do okay with it um, because, like I said, we paid fifteen pounds for it, and a similar system. The only thing I'm concerned about, obviously, is the smoking damage to the unit. Like, it's got that yellowiness to it. So, I'm going to have to give it as good a clean as I can. Um, and then we'll see what we can do. But just to give you an example, guys, um, I paid £15 for it. As a gentleman here who sold from Croydon, shout out to Croydon, um, sold the same system for £90 with free shipping. However, um, you will notice from his photographs he only has the um, four units. So he's got the amp, the radio, the cassette, and the CD player. Um, whereas we have got, um, you know, we've got the works, haven't we? So yeah, we've got, we've got the works. So we've got all of that plus the mini disc. So we've got the optional. Because sometimes in these systems, the mini disc unit was sold as an optional extra. So bearing in mind he managed to get ninety. Um, you know, we have obviously got condition issues with ours where it's been smoked on, um, and uh, so we're going to have to bear that in mind. Um, but we should be able to achieve a hundred quid. I I would hazard. Um, still, I'm I'm pleased to pay fifteen pounds. Um, MD money there says Dave. It can be. Is it just me that expected him to drop the whole lot? Says Darren. Darren, you have little faith. Um. I am not as clumsy as I may come across, even though um, some of my, <laughs> I, I have dropped things before. Um, Peter Ray asked, how much did you spend? Um, yeah, I spent 40 odd pounds. I think it was like 42 actually, but 40 odd is, is correct, Peter. Um, Simon says, I saw that, but passed it up. I didn't see you though. Why did I pick it? Why did I pick it up for my life? Says Simon. It's a bit... <laughs> It's a bit, why didn't you pick it up? It's a bit yellowed. Um, I mean, I think they were asking 20 or 25, I'm not sure. Um, the inside of the Iowa system will, will be grim. Yeah, very true Cedar stuff. It, it, the inside's probably gonna be full of like cobwebs and God knows, so we'll see what it's like. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. I don't, I have a feeling it's just been in storage, um, but there we go. Um, it's hard to find mini disc ones these days, says Alia. Um, yes, it's true. And Claire Thompson pops in and says, hey, all just popping in, leaving Windyke. I'll watch later. No worries, Claire. Hope you've had a productive um, morning. Um, Death by a Glamour, Leanne pops in and says, Z Doc, hi there. Hi, how are you doing there? DBG, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. So pretty happy with that purchase, though. I've got, I know I'm almost certain it's going to work um, because, like I said, it was a clear out item. Um, and, you know, gentlemen's obviously moved on and, um, you know, left it. But unfortunately, they were a smoker. So we have to accept that. Karin says, morning all morning. Z, hope you're well. Yes, very well. Thank you. Pretty excited about some of the car boot finds we've gotten. Um, so just working through them. But so far, I've just shown those items. So let me move on. Let me just get rid of what I've already shown you. I've shown you the stereo and I've shown you the hoodie um, and uh, what else have I shown you guys? Show you the stereo hoodie, hmm. and I believe I showed you a camera as well. I think I did. I did. I think I did show you a camera. Just need to find it there. Let's get rid. Okay, so I don't get, so I don't get confused. I'm gonna put these things like out of the way. Um, all right. I'm I'm kind of forgetting the order in which I found this stuff. So I'm gonna probably just accept that I'm not gonna be able to remember the order correctly. Um. Here is a cool item. 
um, th there was a box of bits and pieces. Um, it was one of those car boots today where I rummaged a fair bit. And rummaging is something I've gotten out of the habit of doing recently. I think I used to rummage a lot and th through boxes, looking underneath things. And today it's paid off um, quite well um, because what I'm about to show you, I paid in total, um, I paid two pounds for. Um, so if I can just share with you guys what I bought for two pounds. And this was like a rummage. The guy really didn't know what to price the stuff at. He didn't really care for it. Um, so I got this lot of little vintage gaming paraphernalia and I'll go through it with you in a moment for two pounds. Now, what caught my eye whilst rummaging um, was this power supply. If you guys see uh, um, any power supply like this, look out for Spectrum. So it says Sinclair plus three. Look out if you find an Amiga one. So if it says Commodore, it's got like a little C on it. Um, look out for Atari. Um, I don't know if Atari's ones, what they were like, because I never had an Atari, but I'm guessing they would have had something similar. Um, but Amiga's definitely had them. Um, obviously, Sinclair Spectrum's had them. So these are power supplies that used to come with your vintage computers. And um, it, I was rummaging, like I said, it, rummaging has really paid off in this particular car boot sale. Um, so definitely worth um, keeping an eye out for these things. Now, it may not look like much, and that's a good thing. It is a, you know, Spectrum it says on the back here Sinclair 128k spectrum plus three power supply unit that's all it is paid a pound for it um and you can quite comfortably get 27 quid with free shipping so this gentleman here um has sold one already and is selling another one um for 27 pounds uh so you can't really can't go wrong with that um so well worth doing um if you're concerned about anything you can even take it down to your local charity shop or tip shop and ask them to pat test it for you um if you're concerned um but alf please please thank you um so one pound to 27 but that is including free shipping so something of this way you're probably going to be spending about three four quid on shipping alf behave so that's really good find. Now, now the other stuff that I got, like I said, I paid two pounds and I got, I bought these. So these were like 50p each. Alf, for God's sake. So I paid 50 pence each for these and they're kind of cool um, because I, I don't know. I mean, I just thought they would be interesting and I think they're probably going to be okay for me. Not, nothing amazing, but I actually found, I paid 50 pence for it. This particular item, I think someone accepted an offer of 15 pounds, I think, plus shipping. So it was up for 25. Um, it was quite a while ago. I'm not sure when this, when this sale happened, but I found this using Terrapeak. Um, for those of you that don't know, you now get Terrapeak, which is like a, a market analysis and um, like data tool for free as part of your shop subscription. So if you don't know about it, um, I've got a video on the channel about Terrapeak. You can, it, I did it in the last week, so you can check it out. But I found this listing using Terrapeak and um, this guy had this up for £25 plus shipping and I think it took £15. So really cool. It's all there. The disc, the user instructions, the works, it's all there. It's just interesting. Um, and that was for 50 pence. Um, so that was a quite a nice little find. Um, let me just see what the chat is saying. Um, Happy Chap says, hey, you just got back in and you're already broadcasting. Um, right. Um, Amiga's way a ton. You definitely dropped that, <laughs> says earlier. Um, I need to stop watching this, lol. You obviously beat me to a lot of decent pickups today. No, Simon, it's just swings and roundabouts. We were just walking around um, quite chilled out, and we I think it was the rummaging that, that did it. Um, right, Gunship was a good game, says Dave. Um, I've never played it. Rocking the Terror Pigs, says his dad, yes. Um, I can't get much done at the weekend with kids home and always feel guilty, says Mandy you shouldn't feel guilty you're crushing things um the other item i picked up for 50p was this gunship game now this doesn't seem to hold as much value as the tomahawk flight simulator that i just showed you 
um, but it probably has more value than um, you know than the 50p I paid for it there's a guy here trying to sell his for like 12 odd pounds um, now be careful when you're researching these as well because you can see here someone trying to sell this for like seven quid six quid sometimes these games are um, sold on like tape um, you got to make sure that you're not only checking the right format, but make sure you've got the right media. So this is the Spectrum Disc Edition. So these have got floppy disks inside. Um, so I reckon I should be able to get at least a tenner for it, if not more. Um, so from 50p, that's fine. Now, the other thing that I found, which is like a little, I got a couple of Easter eggs, which I wasn't expecting. And I, in the box for that gunship game, I found these as well. And these are Amstrad CPC games. Um, again, not uh, th these aren't going to be worth a stack of money. I'll give you an example. This particular game here, this is like a compilation disc. G um, it's got Gift from the Gods, Maelstrom, Nomad, Super Test 1, Super Test 2, and Cosmic War Toad. Those are the games on here. And this particular disc has sold recently at auction for £5.50 plus £1.70 shipping. So not worth a lot, but it was a freebie basically in the box. So still worth it in that respect. Um, and then I found this Ocean Chart Busters compilation. Um, and this one is going to be difficult to price. I can't find something exactly the same, but I'm probably going to shoot for maybe 10 to £15. Pounds, um, and it's got um some kung fu game on there it's got stallone's cobra um sylvester stallone's cobra movie game um so it's like again it's a floppy disc um and i don't know i i reckon it's possible for me to get some kind of 10 i think a tenner would be around right um for something like that let me just go back into the chat um spectrum discs are rare now says dave um, yeah, that's the thing. I, it, um, and Simon says, I know, mate, I'm only missing. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, has Alf got tap dancing shoes on? Sounds like river dance walking past. Yeah, he needs to get his um, claws clipped, definitely, because he's, he's making a bit of a noise now. Um, right. Um, would the floppy still work after all this time, or is it just for collectors, says Happy Chap? They can work. I've certainly had games which have been poorly stored. Um, I have, I bought an Amiga job lot not a long while back, um, and the discs worked fine, even though they weren't stored properly. They were stored in a shed, a very um, you know not in the best condition. Um, so it's just one of those situations. Um, you have to just try. Uh, you can just mention. I will just mention these are sold untested, so it, it is more likely that. It's going to be collectors. Not many people actually bother loading up discs. Even fans of these formats tend to run emulations rather than bothering, you know, to actually, you know, can you imagine like click, click, click? It would be boring. Um, I, I don't think people have got the time for that. They just run the emulation and call it a day. So that was pretty cool little pickup. Um, plus three discs can be asked for good prices. Plus three discs can be problematic, but don't worry about that, says Dave. Oh, cool. Um, wow, my old Amiga games were dying in the 90s, says Happy Chap. It, I, it's just luck of the draw. I, I had a f good few that I used and they worked absolutely fine. Um, right, let's move on. I don't want to keep you guys longer than necessary. Um, now, this is again from Rummaging and it's paid off really nicely. Um, rummaging has been really good today. Um, I, I'll be honest. I'm pretty pleased with the rummage finds today. Um, I was going through this box of stuff. This guy wasn't really I, like it, it was just he, they'd obviously done a bunch of clearances of some kind and there were loads of stuff. And there was a box which had um, golf tees, um, like you know golf tees that were given out by a company as merch. Um, it had like a fax machine um, and some other stuff, like really junky stuff. And I, the first thing that drew my attention was this um it had a tape in it it had batteries in it and i even managed to test it and it works absolutely fine this is a sanyo talk book um dictaf dictaphone um i want to ask them how much they wanted they only wanted a pound so i was really pleased that i rummaged and found this for a pound um and i will be expecting to fetch on ebay 23 pounds 
something like this sent up to Amazon could fetch me significantly more on FBA. So if there's a listing for it on Amazon, I will look at that, um, see um, if there is a, a decent listing for it, and I may send it to Amazon, but the chances are we're just gonna sell it on eBay. If it's a pound, if we can get 23 quid with free shipping, uh, so 20 quid basically plus shipping it is, um, that's a very good flip and I'll be happy to do that. Um, quite quite regularly so that was nice um, and it was from a rummage now it gets even better it gets even better so I carried on rummaging once he only asked for a pound because sometimes when you go to these house clearance guys you'll notice that even though they just dump all their stock out and you're you're asked to rummage through stuff when you pick something out they still sometimes come out with outlandish prices and um, by outlandish I mean bear in mind we are in a field um and these are untested goods cash um i've been by house clearance people asked like a fiver and more for dictaphones and obviously i'm like no i'm not gonna pay you that it's it, it looks moldy it's probably you know it's 6 a.m in the morning there's condensation everywhere uh you know you're, you're asking too much but that was only a pound um so that was that was really good and it works so I rummaged through it and it was fine so I continued to rummage through this guy's um, storage containers and I came across one two three and I can count four DS consoles now we've got none of them have got a power supply um, none of them have got power supply which is a shame but uh, the condition of them is very good there's the coral pink one it's in very good condition um, this one needs charging so I'll need to test that this one here does work well, it powers on so that's really cool and again you can look at the condition it's actually very good a little mark on it but nothing major very good condition for a, a box find um, and then there's a white DS as well um, and then there's a DSi. Now on DSi's, um, I don't know if anyone can help me with this at all, but DSi's have got this peculiar rubberized finish on them, very similar to some pure DAB radios, and they become like, you know, a bit nasty really. Um, so, you know, it, they just become a bit sticky feeling. You know, there's nothing sticky on it, but it feels sticky. But anyway, four DSs, and they only wanted eight pounds. I just said, because I knew they were like getting rid of stuff, I said, would you do six? And they said, yes. So I got six, sorry, four Nintendo DSs, three DSs, one DSi for six pounds. Um, now, even without, even without charges, um, I should be able to get around this money for them on eBay. Um, so here's 18 pounds used somewhere, no charger. Um, 18 pounds with free shipping. So not bad. So if I can get like, you know, 18 quid each, we're talking, was it 18, 36, 44, 58 quid or something like that? I don't know, um, 56 quid. Um, from from a you know from a six pound for a six pound spent assuming uh they all work so i'm really pleased with that and that was from a rummage um so i was really happy um rummage boxes are a says yorkshire reseller i found my last mewtwo for a pound last season insane yorkshire reseller um i've got a camera coming up that you'll be interested in yorkshire reseller, or you'll probably know about but you'll probably think is cool so hang around for that um list 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 says my car boot was really good so many high value items ran out of money and missed out on a fuji s5 pro camera box for 50 quid um it happens i mean i felt the same i could have spent um a lot more money if i'd taken more money um but we turned up you know after seven i think it was um and we were there it was all of us it was me beck and the girls and we were just kind of walking around to be honest it ended up being me walking um and like looking through stuff and the girls were chilling um so it was it was one of those one of those days um a damp soapy toothbrush and scrub gently um and tom says try ipa on ipa on the dsi 
um, isopropyl alcohol. Yes, I've got some. I always keep isopropyl alcohol. Um, and there we go. Um, any R4 cards? There was no R4 cards, Dave. No, there's no games at all. It's just consoles. Just consoles. And oh, that's Happy Chaps listing. Um, I hope you don't mind me showing it. It's on in it's on the internet. Um, but wait, well, it's a good listing, Happy Chap. Um, don't worry, I will be taking my own photos. <laughs> but I wanted to show that as an example that you can get 18 quid for a console without any accessories. So, and I found your listing to be the best. So that's like a compliment, right? Right there. Um, so that was my next find. Now it gets even better. This is this is this could be my find of the day. Um, and I, I, I'm just really happy with it. So from the same guys, from the same guys, I was rummaging around um, and I found this. Look at that, look at, the, look at that case. Should, should we guess what's in here? Um, Yorkshire reseller um, would be pretty happy with this as well. It is a camera, so I will tell you that obviously it is a camera. Um, but you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to, to guess which camera it is, I don't think anyway. Um it's not the obvious one, it's not a Mewtwo. But in the same for the for the, from the same guys, I f um I saw this and I liked the profile of it. You can generally tell like if it's gonna be what kind of camera it's gonna be. <laughs> oh no, it's not Yashika T4, Mukhtar. That would be like, I'd be like really happy for the Yashika T4. Um, let me just let me just show you what it is, and this is definitely worth looking out for. Here you go, one pound, guys, one pound. Now I am not a an expert at, in cameras. However, however, what you can do is you can get an idea of whether something is worth something. In this case, it was really easy because it was only a pound, so there was no, not a gamble there. But what I liked about this camera, what got me excited, and I didn't know anything about it, I did not know anything about this camera, this is a Konica A4, okay? Now, I did not, not know anything about this camera, guys, honestly. But when I saw it, it has a lot of similarities to the Mewtwo. And what I mean by that is it's a fixed lens camera. It's a fixed lens camera. And you'll notice that the Mewtwo it goes for good money um, because it's a fixed lens camera with a really wide aperture. I think it's like an f2 point something. I'm not sure. It even might even be lower. This is an f3.5, which isn't great, but for a pound, I thought it's got to be worth 20, 30 quid, right? Um, fixed lens f 3.5 um which is the aperture and that's what you gotta look out for guys that's why you pay so much money for your mewtwo if you look at its aperture it's f something it's like i can't even remember what it is now i think it's in the low twos um it might it's not even i'm not sure if it's 1.8 it probably isn't but it's like two point something but anyway this is an f 3.5 konica a4 camera and i paid one pound for it um and i'm going to just share with you what you can get for this camera um, let me just find it for you. Um, today would be good. Today would be good. Let me just find it for you. Um, and here we are. So Konica A4, 35mm camera, £90. This guy put it at auction at £50, £80, £100, $130 film tested. I don't know if it's film tested or not, but yeah, film tested. It says it there in the title. Hundred and thirty for that. Hundred, um, you know, it's really good value. Um, so like, like I said, I paid a pound for it. Hopefully, it is working, um, and it's gonna do well. So, it, I mean, he only got forty nine pounds. I'm guessing sometimes people buy these and are not sure of the value. They might think, oh, it's not an Olympus. It's not a Mewtwo. I'll put it up for this much or whatever. They're not sure of the pricing and they undersell, but definitely should be able to get good money for that. Um, yeah, Yorkshire reseller straight in there and says um, 99 to 120. So I'd be really happy if I could get that. So I'm going to have to test it, but for one pound and the condition is excellent. Um, the condition is really, really good. 
um, I can't grumble with that at all. So I'm going to just get a, a battery. It's clean in the inside in the battery compartment and everything. So, so f by rummaging on one guy's stool, um, we've got like a hundred quid there, 20 quid there, that's 120 quid there. And the four um, DS is worth what about 50, 60 quid. So it's like 170, 180 pounds from rummaging through um, this guy's junk boxes. So very, very happy with that. Um, okay, we're coming close to the end. We have got a couple more items to share with you guys. Um, there was a Sony Walkman on the floor. It, quite a no brainer. Um, I have not tested it. It looks in good condition. I checked the battery compartment. The gentleman was only asking for two pounds on this camera. Two pounds is very good. This is a WM um, FX425, um, and it's got auto reverse and an FMAM radio, um, and we should be looking at a good return from two pounds. Um, let me just find the listing. Um, no, there we go. There we go. So here is a listing. One sold for thirty-four pounds plus shipping at auction. So around thirty quid from two pounds should be uh, very achievable on this camera. Oh, on this camera, on this Walkman. I mean, Walkman's definitely worth looking out for. It's in good condition. It's all there. Um, I'm pretty certain this one's going to work. I've seen I've seen worse condition ones do okay, but yeah. I'm happy with that for two pounds. Um, nice, easy flip. Um, would you put a film in, take photos, and get them developed to test? Says Tom. I don't tend to film test. I just do the function tests, Tom. Um, and I'll just put that in the listing. Yorkshire reseller says cameras are always worth picking up for under five pounds. That's how I learned. Good, good point. Um, question: In this day and age, who would use a dictaphone? No jokes, guys. Says Tommy Vickers. People like to use them. Um, I don't know why, but people do like to use them. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's, um, I think it, it, they either have tapes of of um, people that have passed that they want memories for or whatever. So people do use them. There's a big demand for them. Big demand for them. Um, so that anyway, that's the the, the Walkman. Two pounds into um, thirty. So very happy. And it and it came with this rather snazzy case logic case um, always worth looking out for the earphones that sometimes get thrown in with these things because sometimes the earphones and the cases can be worth money always worth bearing that in mind um, next item we're on to our last couple of items to share so I'm not going to waste too much more of your guys time um, came across like a what seemed to be like a dealerish person um, and they had these they had these items. Um, you can see they're priced up quite high, ten pounds and eight pounds. I paid fifteen. I offered fifteen. I said, if I take both, will you take um, fifteen pounds? And they said, yes, we'll take fifteen pounds. Now I was very happy with that, and the reason is the first one is described as a vintage nineteen eighties Sony Walkman radio plus cassette player with bag, no remote. Now let me tell you what's wrong with this description. This is why this is why it can be frustrating as a buyer when people are asking um when they're asking like ten pounds for a Walkman, um, but they don't really know much about it and they can get away with not knowing much about it but it's the way it is it's it's you accept that when you go to a car boot firstly this is not a 1980s walkman this walkman probably came out in the late 90s if not early 2000s it doesn't have a radio in it um but they're right about it having a bag and not coming with a remote that's correct so they've got that right but this is how wrong they are and they can get away with this, this is this is why when they're selling things at a car boot, if they're selling this stuff at a car boot, you have to feel um, like you can make reasonable offers to these people. And don't get scared because a lot of sellers nowadays are asking at car boots really strong money, bearing in mind that they're in a field. Just remind them gently that they are in a field. Just remind them that because sometimes some sellers need reminding of the fact that they're in a field, a cold, wet, damp field 
their items are untested, they're asking cash, there's no returns policy, there's no 180 day PayPal chargeback available or any of that. So their prices must reflect that. Not to mention the fact that they're selling to an audience of a few thousand people at most versus a few million people. Anyway, um, Pommy Picker, sorry, Simon says it's crazy. We were at the same car boot and barely got anything. It happened. Um, Justin RVA Flip says morning all afternoons are here. Thank you for popping in, Justin. RVA Flip's channel. If you guys haven't seen it, you must. The guy is mega entertaining. Justin, he is he's over in the States, um, has a really thriving YouTube channel, uh, does look daily, daily content, which is a lot of fun to watch. Um, he's an awful lot of fun to watch this guy. He's just, if you're not already subscribed, uh, definitely I recommend clicking on the three dots next to his name and subscribing although you, most of you hopefully are already subscribed to him he's a top guy uh, thanks for popping in Justin appreciate it um, but yeah let me show you what this is okay firstly there's a bit of value in the pouch there's a little bit of value in the pouch you could probably sell the pouch and get some money Sony branded but this is beautiful look at this that is something to get excited about I love these items this one is a bit of a, um, it's going to need a bit of testing somehow, which is going to be difficult because these use these gum stick batteries. Um, and sometimes these, what these should have come with is an adapter, like it's like a small black unit which screws into these contacts. And that adapter allows you to power this with a single double A battery, but that's missing. And also that adapter allows you to plug it into the wall as well. So that's missing. So I testing it is going to be a bit difficult. Um, all I've got is a battery. I'm going to see if I can find an adapter. Um, but like I said, for both of these items, so you've got radio here and this paid 15 pounds. Now this Walkman in varying condition can go for really strong money. Let me just show you guys what it can go for. So here we've got someone that sold one in perfect condition with the remote and pouch. Um, 160 or best offer. It doesn't look like there was any offers made there. Faulty, 30 pounds, parts only, 30 pounds. 69 pounds, but that's got like a really, I mean, that box is going to hold no value, but it, they've got the charger you can see there. Um, fully working at auction for 31, but that's like a really bad photo. 46 pounds, 45 20 for parts 75 with accessories the blue one there for 104 full metal body but again these are the accessories that i'm missing um so wow 104 pounds on bids that's crazy um let me just see so i'm gonna be looking out for if i can um the that that unit there you can see this guy's got this little small unit there which screws on to the bottom um, and that then can allow you to test it. If I can find one of those for cheap, I may buy that and test it with it. If not, I'll just put it on as untested um, and we'll just go from there. And I, I mean, the condition looks good. The inside actually looks really clean. Um, you can get a good idea from the inside. It's actually really clean. Um, so it could well work fine. And if it does, the, the value is there to make it kind of worthwhile. Um, um, great pickup says Karin and Sue has popped in. Hi Sue, um, just back from the car boot. Fantastic. A um, lot of home clear up people this year asking eBay money. Just smile and walk away. Says happy chap. Um, yeah, very true. Um, oh, thanks says Avia and DBG says just subbed. Oh, you're gonna enjoy um, the content definitely. Um, I hate the gum stick. Says happy chap. It's such a bore to test. Very true. They can be a real pain in the backside to test. But you know, I could probably get a tenner for that pouch. I reckon I could actually. Should we? Let me just search it. Actually, just do a quick search for this pouch. Sony Walkman. Uh, Sony Walk. Uh, Walkman uh, canvas pouch. Let's have a look. Um, let's go to solds and see if people. Why well, someone got twelve ninety nine for a soft pouch there? Okay, five a tenner for a mini disc pouch. Um, that's not even a, an original pouch. I reckon the tenor is achievable on that because of the branding on it. So my money's even in that because I'm probably going to sell that separately um, just to eke a little bit more profit out of it. You know what I mean? I'm just going to... Oh, I forgot to show you. There you go, guys. 
So you, you can see there, pouches, twelve ninety nine. He got a tenner, that's a mini disc one. There, that's the same pouch, five pound plus two pound shipping. I reckon you could get more than that. He got five pound plus two pound shipping. So he got seven quid. Um, post to Europe and Asia, so it doesn't post fully world fully worldwide. And I and one photo, guys, one photo. I reckon you could get a tenner plus shipping. Honestly, I really do. Um, it's internationally, it will sell. Um, that's my humble opinion on it. Anyway, um, there we go. Um, right. Um, Picked up 50 plus transformers from one seller today, says Moggy Morg. Always chat to sellers, they might be hiding stuff in the car. Moggy Morg, that's a fantastic point. Um, I've got a story to tell. Um, I, I've got a story to tell um, that I will share with you guys once I've shown you the last couple of items. Um, and then it's similar to that, like, you know, getting deals like that. Question Z, if you sell an item untested, do you sell it at a lower price? And if the item doesn't work, are you obliged to refund even if it's sold untested? Um, you would sell it at a lower price, obviously, if it's untested. Um, and even though you've stated it's untested, the buyer is well within their rights to buy it and then tell you it's untested, just like you mentioned in your listing and then send it back to you. You have to accept that. Um, and um, it's just unfortunately the situation that we're in. Um, and now I believe that when you take a refund, I'm not sure, but PayPal keep in, in the US at least, I'm not sure if it's over here as well, but probably is where they now keep the, the, the fee uh, so even when you refund someone, you don't get your fee back now? I don't know. Um, Nadine says, regarding the dictaphone, people have took to recording their physical assessments for disability benefits as there is a lot of wrong information written by the assessor need two machines for two tapes. Oh, there you go, Nadine. See, there's uses for these things all the time. All right, now let me quickly move on to the other item that I got. So part of the... You can pretend that I paid £7.50 each for these things because I paid 15 quid in total. But this, this kind of radio is worth looking out for. So this is a world travel radio. This is from Grundig. Um, it's got this little flip out unit here, which has like all the world zone, time zones on there. The more bands a radio has, the better. If it's digital, better. Um, but yeah, this has got um, all kinds of short, four short wave bands, as well as medium wave, long wave, and FM radio. And it's called the Traveler 2. Um, this unit um i would expect to get somewhere in the region of 30 pounds a silver one sold in um the united states for 45 dollars which is about 34 quid so from seven pound 50 that's a nice little flip and um, bear in mind obviously i bought it with that walkman so that is a nice thing to look out for um traveler radios like world travel radios the more bands the better um the more shortwave bands if they're digital or especially if they're satellite radios look out for that kind of stuff um can be worth some good money All right we're now on to we are now on to the final um lot of stock um so i'm really happy because i'm getting parched um i've actually got some smoothie here i'm gonna have a little sip of some mm. That's nice. Innocent smoothies are so tasty. Right. So let's get on to the final item. And then you guys can get on with your weekend. Um, I tend to stay away from like Lego, Mega Blocks, that kind of thing. But I saw a lady who had a pile of Lego. Well, not Lego, sorry. Mega Blocks. And it was Halo Mega Blocks. She had a stack of it on the floor. So I just thought I'd ask how much it is. And Unf what well, unfortunately slash fortunately she said four pounds. And I was like, well, I've got to have it then. Um I hate going through it. I hate testing it. I'm gonna see if I can get Rebecca to do this because she likes Lego. So I'm hoping she's gonna like this as well. I really hate this stuff. The only reason I went for it is because it seemed to be made and some of it seemed to be built up. And I really liked Halo. I was a big fan of Halo. And there's a stack of it. So we have got here. I mean, that's come off. Um, I don't know. Does that even fit on there? I don't know how this works. Damn it. Okay. Is this why no one likes Mega Blocks? You can't get them to fit? I, I don't even know. Maybe that doesn't go on there. I don't know. Hold on. That's like a... That's a Lego piece. And then... Okay. 
I don't know. Oh, there you go. Okay. We got it to fit. There you go. We got this thing, which has got like rubber tracks. That's so cool. Look at that. And I was a big Halo fan, and that's probably what helps me go for this. I'm, I was a massive Halo fan. I really enjoyed it. Um, so car boots are y'all's yards, are y'all's yard sales. Yes, RVA flips, Justin. Yes, Justin. Um, PayPal thing is now on hold. The PayPal thing might just be USA, says Dave. Okay. Um, so, yep, that's nice. So, sold a Sony World Radio for 100 quid. Okay, cool. Right, so I had to get this because, like I said, it was four pounds. It's hard to leave it behind. But anyway, it's Halo. Mega Blocks Halo. It's got rubber tracks. Really cool. So, that was one of the bits. Um, then there's, I don't know, there's, there's loads of it. There's, there's this. And I think there's people in here because I can hear rattling. I'm not sure. Oh, there's pieces in there anyway. I think, anyway, let me just show you what I've got. So that and that, UNSC this or that, the other, I don't know. Um, what else have you got here? There's bits of, um, yeah, there's more bits of this this set, I guess. Um, oh, there's loads of it. So it's kind of semi-built, but this is all like Halo World stuff. So Halo Mega Blocks. Um, UNSC, like a little Halo car thing. Um, I don't know. Again, I, I don't know about the values of this really, but I'm sure it's worth more than four pounds. And then there's like a box here. Um, you got that guy. You got a bridge thing. Oop. It's got loads of little little Halo men as well, which is um, little Master Chief. Look, he's got a sword. You got the sword. The sword was such an OP weapon. That's so cute. So there's loads of these. I got like one. Oh, I got tons. A grunt thing with like a plasma rifle. Um, there's loads in here. There's absolutely loads. I don't know. Um, an, an, an arbiter that's an arbiter I think with a plasma rifle and then there's like a you know wow I didn't realize there were all these little men are little little Spartan um, wow, just just a lot of it there's tons um, I mean I I don't unfortunately I'm not sure what the value on this will be but we'll have to figure it out um, gotta go walk the dog. Have a good day. No worries. Um, DBG, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Happy chap says so. Rebecca builds it, and you play with it. It's a good life. See, I don't play with this. I'm not gonna be playing with it. We're just gonna be selling it. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna sell it. I might just, I might just stick it up at all. There's so many figures. I'm not sure if the figures have got any value, but there's like, there's like, I've got handfuls of tiny little figures. Tiny little, <laughs> quite cool actually. They're actually really cool, but there's a lot of it anyway. Um, I have had a quick look um, online, and I've oops, I don't want them to lose their weaponry and whatnot. Um, I've had a quick look online, and um, I will show you what I've found. Varying things. Um, I typed in Firebase because that's what it said on the box, um, and then there's a bunch of I don't know it, it, a lot of US things, fifty dollars and stuff. I mean, if I just type in Halo um, Mega Blocks, okay, Halo Mega Blocks. So figures don't fetch a lot by the looks of it. Four pounds, four pounds couple of cars and some figures got 25 quid there but with these oh look, that's that's one of the cars so that car's worth a tenner plus shipping um captain whatever got 18 quid all right then 16 pounds for those figures ultra rare characters um mega blocks halo figures 16 pounds for these I, i've got some with swords i'm sure i've got something like that i don't know but I'll have to do some research. I will have to do some research because I really don't know. But then again, for four pounds, I might just stick them on auction. 
Um, all this stuff should help your sales. Um, some great stuff there, Z says Karen. Yep, hopefully it will pick up the sales. Um, definitely, we've had a stronger weekend. It, the typical thing is on Friday we were moping. Saturday things pick up. Um, hopefully today's been okay as well. Um, the Sony TPS L2 Walkman goes for stupid money because it was in the Guardians of the Galaxy films. That's a good point. List, list, list. Um, I have indeed to went early, got quite a bit. We'll be doing a haul Tuesday, says Peter. So Peter's going to be doing a car boot haul. But yeah, I'm going to just do a bit of research. I might just end up sticking it all on an auction and seeing what it fetches because we're only in it for £4 and we do want a quick turnover. Um, but then again, I might just see what bundles go for, price to bundle with best offer and see if we get any bites. Um, so I think that was everything. Um Yep, that was pretty much everything. I um, hope you enjoyed the haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I hope um, it was of interest and you might have found some items that you, you can look out for next time you're at the car boot. Um, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.